Hi guys, today we're going to talk about converting units using proportions and tables. And the I can statement we're working on is, I can use what I know about ratios to convert units of measure. You're going to see that this is actually pretty easy as long as you know how to set up a proportion or use a table. You'll also notice that there will be some problems where you're going to prefer using a table versus a proportion and others where you're going to want to use a proportion instead of a table. So let's begin. There are 12 inches in a foot. Mrs. Sopko is 5 feet tall. How tall is she in inches? Let's solve this problem first using a table. And to do this, I'm going to set up a table with two rows, one for feet and one for inches. And I'm going to put in the first thing I know, which is given in the problem. There are 12 inches in a foot. Now, I'm going to look back at the problem and, sit and ask myself, what other information have I been given? And you'll notice that you've been given the information that, there are five, that Mrs. Sapko is 5 feet tall. So I'm going to put that 5 in the foot row. Now, all I need to do is ask myself, how do I get from 1 to 5? And this is very simple. I multiply by 5. So, if I need to multiply by 5 to get from 1 foot to 5 feet, then I need to do the same thing with 12 inches because that's 1 foot. I'm going to multiply that by 5 and get 60 inches. So, now I can tell how tall I am in inches because using this table, I just look to see where I have 5 feet and look below it to see how many inches 5 feet equals, and that's 60. I can also solve this problem by using a proportion. And in this case, I might choose to use a proportion since it's very easy to convert from feet uh, 1 foot to 5 feet. And it's the same exact way we were um, solving ratio problems earlier in this unit. I, look, I ask myself, how do I get from 1 to 5? And the answer is I need to multiply by 5. Because remember, when we're dealing with ratios and rates, our relationships are going to be multiplicative, which means we're going to need to multiply or divide in order to solve these problems. So if I multiplied in the numerator, I must also multiply in the denominator. So 1 times 5 is 5. 12 times 5 is oops, 60 inches. Let's look at another problem. Danny swam two miles yesterday. How many yards make up two miles? There are 1,760 yards in a mile. Let's first solve this problem by setting up a table. Now, the two units I'm dealing with are yards and miles. And in this problem, I was actually given a unit rate, 1,760 yards per mile. So, my table is going to have two rows, one for miles and one for yards. Now, I ask myself, what other information have I been given? Well, in the problem, I was told that Danny swam two miles yesterday. So, in the miles row, I'm going to write a two to show that I have two miles that I'm looking for. Now, how do I get from 1 mile to 2 miles? I multiply by 2. So, I also need to multiply 1,760 by 2. And when I do that, oops, I get 3,520. So, I know that there are 3,520 yards in 2 miles. I can also solve this using a proportion in the same exact way. One mile to 1,760 yards equals two miles to, I don't know how many yards, but I can solve this looking at my two ratios. I can multiply one times two to get to two, so I also need to multiply 1,760 by two to figure out how many yards are in two miles. Let's look at one last problem. 
George is 504 months old. How many years old is he? Well, in order to solve this problem, I need to know a unit conversion. What conversion do I need to know? Well, if I'm told that George is 504 months old, and I'm trying to figure out how many years old he is, there are my two units, months and years. So I need to know that there are 12 months in one year. Now, in the problem, I was also given the number of months old that George is, 504. So I'm going to put that in my table in the months row. Now, looking at the table, it might be difficult for me to solve this um, problem because I don't know very, you know, on the top of my head what I need to multiply 12 by to get to 504. And it might not end up being a whole number that I need to multiply. So let's try setting up a proportion instead. One year to 12 months equals x years to 504 months. And in order to solve this, since again, I don't know what to multiply 12 by to get to 504, I'm going to cross multiply. 1 times 504 equals 504. And 12 times some amount of years is going to equal 12x. Now, I know, since I have multiplication in this equation that I've made, I need to divide, oops, I need to divide to solve it. I'm going to divide by 12 on each side. Sorry guys, my pen was acting up. So, let's get back to this problem and divide by 12 on both sides. Again, I might not know what 504 divided by 12 is, but I know that once I do that, I will have my answer to how many years old George is. So let's, off to the side, divide 504 by 12. Well, 12 goes into 5, doesn't go into 5 at all, but it goes into 50 four times. 4 times 12 is 48, and when I subtract, I get 2. Now I need to bring down the 4 and ask myself how many times does 12 go into 24 and the answer is 2. 2 times 12 is 24 and when I subtract I get 0. So I now know that George is exactly 42, oops, 42 years old. Okay, so try this one on your own. One gallon of milk is the same as four quarts. How many gallons of milk are in 64 quarts? Well, first ask yourself, what information have you been given? You've been given a rate or a unit rate of quarts per gallon. So you can either solve this problem using a table or a proportion. Pause the video and solve this problem on your own. When you're done, press play. Okay, let's look at your answer. If you chose to make a table, you might have had a table with two rows, one for gallons and one for quarts. If there is one gallon to four quarts and you want to figure out how many um, gallons make up 64 quarts, you would put that 64 in the quarts row. And ask yourself, what do I need to multiply 4 by to get to 64? And the answer would be 16. So what, how many uh, what do you need to multiply 1 by to figure out the number of gallons are uh, equals 64 quarts? Well, to do that, you'd have to multiply 1 by 16 
and get 16 gallons. You may have also chosen, or you might have also chosen to use a proportion, in which case you would have had one gallon over four quarts equals x gallons over 64 quarts. You would first need to cross multiply. One times 64 is 64. And four times x is just 4x. This would give you an equation that has multiplication in it. So in order to solve it, you would need to divide both sides by 4. And when you did that, you might need to work it out off to the side. You would ask yourself, how many times does 4 go into 6? 1. 1 times 4 is 4. And when you subtract, 6 minus 4 is 2. And bring down that next 4. Then ask yourself, how many times does 4 go into 24? And the answer is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. And when you subtract, you get no remainder. So once again, you would get 16 gallons for 64 quarts. Now it's your turn. I'm going to give you two problems on the screen. In the work section of your WSQ, complete these two problems on your own. Don't forget to write any important information in your summary, and when you're done, write any questions you have or questions that might make other students in the class think further about this subject. You can go back and watch this video as many times as you need to.